lunch chicken and the cheese avocado ranch dressing some corn and some black beans I'm not going to eat these and my salad this lettuce looking kind of terrible but I'm going to eat it lunch so i'm gonna go ahead and try this muscle milk protein shake i like the strawberry one but i never had the vanilla one it's vanilla cream but it should be a treat so i'll go ahead and try this it's zero sugar and it's non-dairy so yeah it should be interesting but yeah i need it i need it <laughs> Got a workout to do tonight, so yeah. Uh oh. It's actually not bad. I could do this. Pretty good, pretty good. That's good. Dinner is served. So we have some air fried chicken thighs and some zucchini and with some peppers and onions on it. And of course, water. But yeah, this is dinner tonight. So unmotivated. I told myself I was gonna work out every day for this month. It's the first day of the month, and I ain't worked out yet. It's nine o'clock at night. I ain't worked out. I gotta find some motivation. I hate when I get like this. Oh, I really need to, like, do stuff. How do you find motivation when you don't have none? Mm. Laying on the couch watching Real Housewives of Dubai. It's real interesting. <laughs> Hopefully I find it myself to get up and work out breakfast time so eggs over here and i had some leftover chicken from last night so i just sauteed that warmed it up with some butter and then i had some more zucchini left from last night so i just kind of mixed it in it's all mixed up i don't know if it looked appetizing to you but it tastes good to me and of course coffee coffee is a staple just like eggs but protein, protein, little vegetables. Also got the green peppers and onions, of course. So, this is breakfast. What's up, everybody? This is Kat, and welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. And so, um, this particular video is going to be uh, based on my weight loss journey. If you are new to this channel, I do uh, product reviews for natural hair products and blogging my weight loss journey so um of course you click on this video because you're interested in my week five being on fentramine and um that's what i'm gonna give you so you just watched a little bit of my uh week five some uh meals that i had and um just how i was feeling throughout the week um so for this month i had told myself that i wanted to try to work out every day this month so that I could see what a month of consistent working out and eating right would give me. Um, you know, I just wanted to see if uh, if I can lose a little bit more weight. Um, so, but it's not starting off that way. Like, uh, I'm so unmotivated right now. I don't know what the deal is. Like, like to work out. My meals has been good. As you can see, like I'm following the meal plan. It's pretty much high protein, low to no carbs. 
and um, no sugar, no dairy. Well, a little bit of dairy, some cheese. I can eat cheese. I just found out. Um, but uh, it's keto-ish, I guess, without the um, without so much dairy. Like I can't have. Well, I don't think you can have milk and keto either. It's probably keto, I guess. Like. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much because like when i think about it like we can eat protein we drink protein shakes um we have to keep our carbs low so it's supposed to be like less than six grams of carbs and uh working out and then i take my fentramine so uh for week five i just i took my fentramine every day this week um, again, my motivation was just not there. Like the energy was okay. I think my energy is regulating. My body is really used to this feel by now. So like, I don't get the energy burst anymore. Like I was, um, but I still get the dry mouth. Um, so, and my appetite is still really suppressed. Like I can't really eat a whole meal. I always have leftovers always. And my sweet tooth isn't there like that, but I do i am starting to have little cravings like i'm starting to miss stuff and i don't know if that's um due to my body getting used to the pill or is it due to me eliminating you know sweets and stuff out of my diet um so you know that's something that i need to think about um uh, going forward on this journey because um a really big part of my life has always been sweets like i'm a big junk food fanatic like i like sweet stuff the sweet and salty mix um you know so i know that was like my big problem like i know one time before i was starting to lose weight uh and i tell this story to people a lot like i went a whole day and ate nothing but junk food like i had no real food like i had like that morning i think i had like a donut for breakfast and then i was snacking on chips all day and then i would eat like a piece of cake um, and then like I had more chips and it was just a day full of junk food, but I was full. Like I just ate junk all day. It wasn't nothing, nothing that was nourishing my body. And it was many days like that before, um, I wanted to lose weight. And the crazy thing about me is, is like, I don't eat a lot naturally anyway, but I don't make the best food choices, period. Like my kids always try to like force me to eat. Like, mom, you gotta eat something, you gotta eat. And, um, cause I don't naturally eat. Like I, I don't have a, like a hunger. So, um, but the fence me helps to keep my um, cravings away. And that's what I think I like about this because I would prefer if you put in front of me a nice steak or whatever your choice, your favorite choice of protein is, and you put like a really good cake in front of me and cookies. I'm gonna go for the cake and cookies. That's that's just what I want. I'm not gonna go for the the hearty meal, and I want to change that psychology about myself because um, maybe one day if you guys are interested, I could tell you you know how why I think that my sweet tooth is like so intense like it is. Um, but it started from like childhood. It started way early, way before I can even remember. And it's, and it's like always been that way. So, uh, you know, the, the, uh, benefit of the pill is like, it subsides all of that. And when I am hungry, I am going for it because I have the meal plan mapped out for me. I'm going for the foods that's on the meal plan instead of trying to guess what I want or just pick what's convenient. So that's been a success for me. So even though like my motivation has been down as far as physical activity this week, um, my meals are going really well. And they say that most of the weight loss journey anyway is what you eat, not necessarily um, the exercise, even though the exercise, you know, does help and keep you healthy. Of course, you need to move your body, but um, most importantly to lose the fat is to, um, actually eat good things for your body so um so at least i got that part down so i'm satisfied with that so um i guess the pill is still well i'm not gonna say i guess i know the pill is still working for me it's just that i know i noticed that my body is getting used to it five weeks in 
and um that's kind of disheartening because i need the energy i need the the burst of energy to work out since i'm not a natural like craving working out like i i like that part of the pill so i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and get into my weigh-in and show you guys what i weighed last week and then what i weigh this week and then we'll come back and we'll talk about that and wrap things up We are week five. Let's see. Two forty seven point two. I think I lost a few ounces. Okay, so yeah, you see that way in. Yeah. It wasn't in my best week, but um at least it the scale did not go down. I mean up. Um, I appreciate that part of like any, any, anything that I could lose. I'm happy about that. So I guess I'm glad that my scale does do the decimals because it, you know, like if it was a whole number, I wouldn't even know that I lost at least a little bit of weight, at least some ounces. Um, so in total, uh, my whole five weeks, I lost 6.6 .6 pounds. And so that averages out to be like 1.3 pounds a week. Um, and which I guess is supposed to be healthy weight loss. You're supposed to lose. My doctor says a half a pound to two pounds per week. But I've read places that it says one to four pounds per week can be healthy. But my doctor wants to see one and a, I mean, see a half a pound to two pounds per week. So I'm on track in that aspect. Um, so that's good. So I'm just going to like keep that as um, in my back pocket as my motivation to like, you know, tell me that I'm doing a good job and I'm still, um, you know, seeing a decrease in my weight. It's not going up. Um, I would be so happy when I can get down to the 230 somethings. Because uh, then that'll be pretty significant for me from 253 was where I started at down to the 230s. That would be that would be good. This inching down little by little is it's frustrating. But again, I will prefer that than to be going up. So I also wanted to share you share with you guys um, my Apple Watch results. So I thought that would be pretty cool to use some of the tools that the watch uh, gives. One of the things is that it shows you, you know, what closing your rings and stuff like that. Um, like how you meet, meet milestones. So I'm going to put on the screen one side or another, um, you know, like how I did this week. Uh, so I, I close my stand ring every day and I close my exercise ring every day, even though I didn't like put in a, a workout. I did like um, do rigorous activities around the house. Like I walk, I mean, not walk, I did housework and I door dash. So when I door dash, you know, of course I'm in and out of the car, in and out of the restaurants, going upstairs and stuff like that. I do that part time, like after my nine to five. So I do that for a couple hours a day, um, you know, after work. So that's, that could be considered, a, you know, part of my workout routine. But I think that's where, my uh ring was calculated all last week um and i but i did not close my move ring every day so my move ring basically um if you're not familiar shows how many how cal active calories you burn and i have my set at 990 active calories um so i haven't closed that all week i have my standing ring set at standing at least 12 hours a day um, and I have my workout ring at about 30 minutes of working out every day. So I close, like I said, I didn't close the move ring. So my goal for next week is to close every ring every day because I want to see if that make a significant difference in my weight loss. So if I can just get up and like burn 990 calories according to my watch every day, if I can make sure that I stand um, every, every hour, every waking hour, or at least, at least 12 times, uh, 12 hours out of the day. And then, um, also get my third, at least 30 minutes of exercise and, um, and then continue to eat good. I want to see, like, I want to experiment with that and see what that do for me. Uh, so I'm just gonna, um, take the time this week and like rethink everything because, um, while, like I said, I'm progressing in my weight loss. It's going really, really slowly. 
and um i kind of i need to accelerate that because i only have like six more weeks before my trip comes up and i want to get to that 20 pound that 25 pound uh bit goal that i have so i have 20 pounds to go in six weeks and if this is an indication of what i'm doing i've only lost six pounds during the first five weeks so if i'm continuing to only lose a pound a week um, that's pretty much only going to be like six more pounds and that's not going to reach my goal. So I got to do something. I have to do something. I, I, I needed to be healthy. I needed to be within like the guidelines of what my, um, what my goal is. Like um, my goal, ultimate goal is healthy weight loss. So I needed to be healthy and sustainable. Like I don't want to really do anything drastic, like fasting or like colonics or like something something like out there like that like taking a <laughs> weight loss suppressant is already crazy enough so i don't want to like shock my body too much but i do need to do something to help accelerate this weight loss so um i'm gonna be thinking about that i do know that as you saw i changed to the muscle milk protein um drink because somebody in my comments was saying like watch the sugar in the drinks and the protein drinks and i did take that like under consideration and you're right like a lot of those protein drinks had like sugar in it and if i'm trying to stay away from sugar i needed to get on something that has no sugar or really low sugar uh, grams of sugar so the muscle melts has no sugar and it's no dairy so i think that's gonna be a better fit for me so i'm gonna switch to that um for now on and see if that helps i really want to cut my coffee because although i don't use um i use non-dairy creamer in my coffee i know that it has my creamer has sugar in it but i cannot like i'm so addicted to coffee it's so crazy I can't stop that. And then the whipped cream that I use on my coffee is a non-dairy creamer. But, of course, that got a little sugar in it as well. Granted, it's not as much as the regular stuff, but it, it is there. So, if I'm trying to cut that out, I, I got to. But I don't know about the coffee, y'all. I'm going to try. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. But I ain't going to try hard. But I'm going to try. Because <laughs> that's, just, that's just something that... It's probably non-negotiable, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, if I need to give it up, I guess I will. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, and another cool thing about the Apple Watch is that um, it has a graph that will show you, like, your progression in your weight loss journey. So, even though I do have a folder in my phone that shows, like, screenshots of all my weigh-ins so I can see that I'm losing, um, the graph that in your health app, if you have an iPhone, you can uh, do that in your health app. It shows you a graph, and I thought that was pretty cool, a pretty cool visual, because, you know, you get to see that the graph is going down, or you get to see the spikes, and especially if you also documenting your journey, you can go back to that week and relive that week to see, okay, my weight spiked during this week. Why did it spike? And you can analyze things like that. So, I'm trying to use as many tools as I have at my disposal in order to, um, Help me out with this journey because i'm trying to figure it out it's a journey i'm trying to figure it out like i i don't know um i don't know how my body reacts to a lot of things uh so um doing this is is very helpful um i haven't started journaling yet but i am going to uh, i'm going to look on amazon for a good weight loss journal and i'm going or if i can't find one then i'm just gonna go ahead and just do a notebook and write down some things that I really, really um, think is key in my journey. Uh, journey. Um, and um, and one thing I do uh, do uh, is like listen to a lot of weight loss affirmations, and I think that's helping. You know, because it keeps my mind focused on the task at hand. Like my biggest goal right now is to lose this weight. Um, I know that it's going to take about a year to get to my ultimate goal. I already know that. But with these three months, I wanted to like get, I wanted just to take these three months while I'm on this venture me and to get my mind right. Because, um, being overweight for so long, my mind is not right for weight loss. Like I'm, I still feel defeated sometimes. I still feel unmotivated sometimes. I'm just not that person that's like, okay, it's automatic. And I hope in these three months 
the 90 days will help me get into a good habit that it'll be automatic for me to just choose the right things just to go and work out just to you know just just to change my mindset so part of that um is my affirmation so i don't know hopefully you guys are into affirmations but if not um you know that's okay but i listen to like affirmations when i go to sleep i put my headphones in and it's like you know you are healthy uh you are strong um you can do this uh oh weight loss is a journey you know like it just tells you like repeat like positive things over and over and over again so that you can keep your mind um on that um affirmations to me is i, I believe that it's most successful when you're in your sleeping state when you're relaxed when your body your uh conscious can just receive it without any judgment from you know your logical self um that's a whole nother thing <laughs> you know but if you know what i mean if you know you know you know so and then like um sometimes when i'm working if i need to listen to some white noise i throw on my affirmations and i also write them down too so that's part of my morning morning um journaling but anyway um i hope that you guys are doing well on your journey and i hope that you guys are being successful i hope that you guys are being more active and making better choices and i want to thank you guys so much for watching the videos um thank you for liking the videos thank you so much for subscribing to my channel um and thank you thank you most of all for the comments and the encouraging words and the, the beautiful the beautiful um pieces of advices that you guys have been giving me thank you so much like for the interaction i really truly appreciate it um, I love that you guys are, um, you know, invested in getting yourself healthy and invested in like, you know, um, you know, changing, changing your mindset as well. So, um, you know, if you, uh, haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing, um, and please leave me, you know, any, any feedback that you have. I really, really appreciate it. Again, my name is Kat because I know I have not introduced myself in these videos. That is crazy. But my name is Kat and thank you for watching my weight loss journey week five. And we go crush next week. Next week, I promise, I'm coming to y'all with like weight loss, like some pounds lost. Like I got to do this. So talk to you soon. Bye.